A bittersweet year for some wine growers in our region, despite places like Napa reporting a harvest of a lifetime. Yeah, we talked to one of the only wineries in Sacramento sourcing their grapes in the area. CBS 13's Hunter Sowers is getting answers on what made this year unique. Hunter. Guys, as we know, there are just so many different factors that can influence a rind growing harvest. But for Bilorine Winery, which you see behind me in a perfect location, just steps away from Doco, they say the quality of the wine was fine. That wasn't the issue. It was the quantity and just how much those growers were actually able to produce. That was the struggle. To dance, our slogan is what makes you dance? Bilerine Winery is dancing through a less than stellar season. 2023 was not the most ideal um, harvest and growing year. We didn't have a lot of sun in our areas. They source most of their fruit from Sonoma County, having a hand in every step of the process. And for a business in downtown Sacramento, just steps from Golden One, this is rare. We are a true winery. We harvest our fruit. We know where all of our vineyards are. Knowing the location of vineyards means they give a personal stamp of approval on every aspect of the growing and selling process. William Weiss, who is in Sonoma County at our Custom Crush facility in Hillsburg, they are the ones that make the decision. I do know we had to, you know, not accept fruit this year from a vineyard because it just wasn't an ideal growing season in that part of the region. Not ideal because it was a longer than normal season. Grapes staying on the vine later meant an impact on how much some growers could produce. But with the bitter came the sweet. The growing part of the season was a challenge, but that's the bitter part. The sweet part is we had a lot more foot traffic come through our Sacramento doors. Celebrating the win for local businesses. Crawling out of COVID, we are finally experiencing some more foot traffic. And toasting to better days ahead. Experiencing the Kings and new places opening like Butcher and Barrel and Tiger that is lovely. So really trying to focus right on the positives there that came out of this year. Now that wine that was harvested this year, it won't actually go into the bottles until late 2024. So still some time before we actually see people buying it. But it's important to note that the holiday season has really been a super impactful thing for businesses like this one downtown saying that it's a great way to get people in the door to learn more about the region and what it has to offer. We know, of course, Lodi is another huge area that over the last 20 years we've seen grow from just 10 wineries to over 80. So a lot of growth there, guys, a lot to a lot to celebrate.